Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading for November 2021. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. It is also a timeless reading and it is not gender specific. So let's see what's coming in for all the Geminis for November. Ten of Cups reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. Some of you are in an unhappy domestic situation or relationship or marriage or even job. It's the environment that is negative at the moment for you. The Emperor, card of Aries, could be dealing with an Aries. Wheel of Fortune, nice. Aquarius just had that card in the exact same position. So some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Knight of Wands reversed. The Hermit reversed. Hmm. The Hierophant. Wow, Seven of Swords. The <clears throat> excuse me. There could be infidelity in your relationship or marriage. <clears throat> Not necessarily from your side. But there could be some form of cheating going on here. Another seven, seven of wands. Right at the bottom of the deck you have strength reversed. Okay, it's like I said, Gemini, you're in a certain environment that is making you feel depressed. When the Ten of Cups is in the upright, it normally speaks about the perfect life, the dream life, having it all, having the kids, the house, romance, just general happiness, but it's in reverse. So something is messing with your peace of mind. It is because there is a situation where Someone is taking someone for granted. The relationship is not equal give and take. Whether it's a work relationship or a personal romantic relationship, there's no equal give and take. Someone is just giving, someone is just taking. Maybe you feel like you're not appreciated, you're not valued. People don't see what you bring to the table. You don't really have a chance to express yourself completely. It could be in a job as well. Because I do see the Emperor card here, which could be referring to a boss. So Gemini, if this is you in an unhappy work situation, I'm saying to you, just wait it out. Because right now, is not the right time to be making hasty decisions with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you're right where you need to be for now. And eventually something new will come in for you. It's like fate is at play and you can't rush divine timing. Whether this speaks about a relationship or a job, you cannot rush things and you can't control things that are out of your control. There will be a message coming in for you with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Maybe something you don't expect. Wands are all about action and passion, right? So you could be getting a new job offer or something like that. Or something that someone wants you to take action on. If that makes sense. And whatever this might be, 
it will require you to really go inward and ask yourself what it is you want from life. Ask yourself, is this really what my life purpose is? Do I really want to do this for the rest of my life? Can I see myself doing this for the rest of my life? Then I'm hearing another story. I'm hearing marriage of con convenience. I'm seeing the Hierophant, which is normally a marriage card about tradition, values, morals and values. But then right next to that card is the Seven of Swords, which can seem like a contradiction because now you have morals, values, structure, and then cheating, infidelity, pride, arrogance, ego. So some of you may have been dealing with a partner who was unfaithful to you but for some reason you did not walk away or a lot of you found out your person had been cheating but you were completely in denial with the seven of wands you were completely not ready to accept that your person was involved with someone else. And this whole situation led to you feeling defeated with the strength card in reverse. So it seems like a heavy negative energy, but it's actually not because with the wheel of fortune, it's saying things will work out in your favor. If you're willing to work on yourself, If someone cheated on you, it is up to you to realize that you were not at fault. You were good enough. It's not that you did anything wrong to drive this person away. It's just the way things happened. And for some reason, you eventually will need to move on. Whether you want to or not. But some of you cannot move on because it's a marriage. It's something that's set with a Hierophant. That is a difficult situation. It's really difficult. Some really heavy energy here, but I hope that you can find inner peace and pray and meditate. Ask your angels for guidance on whatever the situation may be. Alright Gemini, I hope that resonated with you. Thanks very much for watching. Keep well.